I wanted to show you a video about saving your own flower seeds. So um, this is a great time of year to take stock of what did really well in your garden and what you'd like to grow again for next year. Um, so I'm just going to show you using um, some of my favourite flowers from the garden this year, how you can save the seed from them. Um, it's free, you don't have to buy it again. You can choose the most best performing flowers to save seed from yourself, so you can be very selective about that process. Um, and then you can share the seed with other people. Um, it's a really easy thing to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There are different ways of harvesting and collecting your um, seed heads. Um, one way is that I just cut a lovely bunch of um, cosmos here and I place them in a vase with water and I've just allowed them to dry naturally in this vase of water and um, and then once they look dry enough I take them away and separate them from the vase and allow the others to do the same. Another is to let the flowers actually dry on the plant. Um, this is quite a natural process. Um, flowers set seed um, at the end of their life so you know the seed will be ready once they're dry like this. Um, another is every time I deadhead, I just select the most um, strongest, healthiest looking flowers and I keep the deadheads and I dry them um, myself and then the seeds are ready to harvest. So on this plate of flower heads that I've been drying for over a month, um, these are hollyhocks. This is the seed casing of a hollyhock and you can find the seed inside of these and I'll show you how to do that later on in this video. Um, I've got a cosmos. This is the cosmos um, that I've been drying. Um, it was a really large, healthy looking flower head, so I thought I'd like to save the seed from that. And it, this is the center of the flower, the yellow center you'd see on a cosmos um, where you'll find the seed. And this is the calendula. Um, I had those bright orange flowers at the front of the garden um, and some like creamy yellow ones, so I saved the seed from that as well. And lastly, I've got scabious. Um, so they're those gorgeous um, pinky and blue scabious that I have growing outside the front at the moment. And this is what the seed head looks like when it's been drying. So I'll show you, I'll show you more of that later on. So these are the Cosmos um, dead heads that I cut this morning. I'm just showing you what they look like before they're ready. This is the Cosmos cupcake and saucer, and it's full of seeds, but absolutely far too green and not ready yet to harvest the seed. So they will need to dry somewhere cool and dark. Um, I just put it in a cupboard, so, not an airing cupboard. I just put it in a cupboard or maybe you could put it on a shelf above an agar or something. You don't want them to be too warm, um, but somewhere where they will dry. And I've selected the most best performing flower buds. As you can see, this is a really nice large one, which I think will be full of seed, but it's just far too green to harvest the seed at the moment. So this will need to take some time to dry out. And these are the scabious. So this is the scabious flower, how it looks when it's flowering. Um, I've been growing these in blues and pinks and they're so pretty. Um, and, and then what I've done is I've actually taken some of the dead heads off of the plant this morning. I kept them on there drying for a while, but just in case we get some rain, I decided to cut them off. They're really unusual looking things. They look like little pineapples or raspberries or something, little fluffy raspberries. And these are the seed heads. Um, but again, they're far too green at present to harvest the seed. So they'll need to go somewhere like in a cupboard. Just on this plate is absolutely fine. You don't need to put them anywhere else. Um, this is one from that beforehand that have been drying for about a month and you can see the difference this is really um dried out and looks completely different so i'll show you in a moment how to harvest the seed from this so you usually find hollyhocks self-seeding everywhere um especially in norfolk if you go to norfolk you'll see lots of hollyhocks and i grew some outside the front of the house this year but i want there to be loads more um so all you need to do is you need to peel back the outer casing to reveal the seeds now there's so many in just one little um, seed casing. You can see these are all seeds here for new hollyhock plants. So every seed will be a new hollyhock plant. So you can see how easily they sell seed if they're just left to their own devices. Um, but I wanted to harvest some of the seed to grow on certain colours. There were certain colours from the front this year that I really loved. A really um, bright cherry pink. Um, there was a really delicious like dark, dark, dark colour that I really want to use as well. So um, you just literally take them out of the seed casing. Um, I mean, how beautiful is the seed casing? It's so pretty. Um, but yeah, you just pull them out of the seed casing gently. And they, if they're dried enough, they should just flake away. Um, and you can just discard the seed casing. That You don't need that for anything now. But just make sure they're all separated. So just um, rub them in between your fingertips and just separate the seed. And then they'll be ready to store. I store all of my seed in these sweet, tiny little brown envelopes, which you can just buy online um, very cheap. And um, just make sure you put the colour, the variety and the, the year that you've harvested them from, really. And that's all you need to do. 
So now to harvest the seed from our dried cosmos. So you just remove any of the outer petals or any waste and you just gently pull at the centre of the flower and just have a plate or a tray or something below you that you can um, get messy. And I guess this is where the saying separate the wheat from the chaff come from, comes from. You just need to move apart the seeds. You can use a sieve. Some people use like a little um, tea strainer sieve or something, but I think a plate is absolutely fine. And just pull apart this the flower centre and then as you start to move what you have on the plate around, you'll be able to discover the seed, which is like a little dark black, tiny seed. Um, I'll see if I can find one to show you. Yes, look, there's loads here. So now it's quite a delicate and fiddly process of just picking up these little black seeds. Um, they're quite tiny, actually. And I'm actually not as many as I thought because I did choose like a nice, rather large flower head. But these are what you want. So just separate those um, from all the waste. It, I mean, it will do no harm to plant the, what what's here. Um, but you want to just to be efficient and get ready for storing to put in your little brown envelope. And again, make sure you put the colour, if you know the variety, great. And the year that you've harvested the seed from, just so you know how long you've had the seed for. And then you're good to go. And just store in a cool, dark place. And you can use that seed come spring when I sow these cosmos. So now we come to our calendula and like I did with the cosmos, just pull apart the flower head on a plate. And these tiny, they almost look like little dried curled up caterpillars or something. They're, <laughs> they're the seed. They're really weird looking um, and really cool actually. They're kind of like spiky when you look at them up close. But they're the seed. So just again, collect the seed, separate the seed and prepare your envelope. And lastly, you can see the scabious, which is in its three different stages of being ready to harvest seed. The flower, the seed head, and then the dried seed head. And I'm going to show you how to harvest the seed from this. So it's simple, like the others, you just pull them apart. And you can see these are the tiny seeds with the little fluffy top to them. And these are what you want to keep. And lastly, these are some dill seeds that I just left the flower seed head in the garden and just scrunched them with my hand and collected all the seed with a plate. So happy seed saving and let me know if there's any questions at all in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing the seeds that you save.